Hello and welcome to the overview of the eight steps of PeopleSoft application. My name is Leah Castillo and I will be stepping you through the module which is the overview of these eight steps. The eight steps are design the application. Step two, define new fields. Step three, create the record definition. Step four, build the SQL table. Step five, create the page. Step six, define the component. Step seven, register the component. Step eight, test the application. Step one, design the application. When designing the application, some of the outputs that will come from this step will be a list of definitions, fields, pages, records, a very detailed specification, and mock-up of the page layout, and navigational hierarchy. Keep in mind, step one, designing the application, can be the lengthiest of the modules, of the steps. This is because you want to do all your work up front so that the following steps are much more easier. Step 2. Define new fields. Step 2. Define new fields. Fields are standalone elements. Fields can be used on multiple record definitions. And fields are seen as the foundation and building blocks of the application. Fields are essential to the creation of your application. Fields can also be used on multiple record definitions. We'll talk more detailed about this when we go to the module on Define New Fields. Step 3. Create the record definition. Creating the record definition, you can think of the record definition as the blueprint of your database table. When you're creating your record definition, you are also doing your first step of data definition. Record definitions are made up of field definitions, and they also identify your prompt table edit. So here you're creating the blueprint of your physical table that you want to create and build, but at this point it is only a definition and not a physical table. It is not until step four, build the table, that you bring this blueprint to life. Here in step four, you actually create the physical table. It is also the last step of data design. This step is executed within Application Designer and it creates the physical table from the record definition. And here, it is often the most forgotten step. People often think that when they create the record definition, they have actually created the physical table. And within PeopleSoft, that is not the case. Record definition, once again, is just a blueprint. Step four, you'll build the table. Step five, create the page definition. It is important to keep in mind that when you are creating the page, the page is the face of the application. The page is how the user will interact with the application data. Whether they're entering data or retrieving data, they'll do so via this page. Also, pages are created within Application Designer using WYSIWAG. What you see is what you get. However, it will be presented to the user in HTML. Step 6. Define the component. Here in defining the component, you will remember that it is the heart of the PeopleSoft application. Defining the component, a component holds one or more pages that the user navigates between. Component is essential to navigation as well as security access. Without a component, you don't have navigation, nor do you have security. Step seven, you're then going to take that component that you created in step six and you're going to register the component. When you're registering the component you're going to do three main things. Number one, you're going to attach the component to a menu definition. Number two, assign security access for users. Number three, place navigational links in the registry. Once you've completed these three steps you will have successfully registered your component, allowing the end user to see it out on the portal. Step 8. One of the most important steps. Testing the application. When you do this, you will do mainly and solely testing, testing, and more testing. It is essential that you test your application and attempt to break it. Because if you don't break it, your users will. And take it from me, it's better that you break your application than an end user. 
That concludes the overview of the eight steps of application development module. You can now move on to module two, which will cover step number one, designing the application. Thank you.